A unique experience outside of Brandon, teaching kids more about soil conservation and ways to take care of the earth. While there is a whole team behind the learning, one woman in particular is giving back to students in her free time. Mary Lou Lacey is a retired soil conservationist. She has been helping at Paskill on Beaver Creek because she says she wants to share her knowledge with future generations. Photojournalist Dave Houck has a story you will only see on Dakota News Now. I grew up on this farm and had an amazing experience learning to love Mother Nature and it led me to a great career. And so now coming back. Okay, you guys are one group. Here and being able to educate just means so much to me. And you know what? Like they always say, it takes a village. How is school going? You guys are almost finished. And so there's a whole bunch of people that have kind of formed a team around us, Kim and I, here at Paskill and Beaver Creek. Let's figure out, there's six groups. When they eat, they, yeah. Yeah, they decompose, they're a decomposer, right? I got to know Mary Lou through for about 12 years as we worked together professionally at the Natural Resources Conservation Service. Mushroom is much bigger than, than the thing that produced it. And I always seen in Mary Lou that. Because we see it, we can see it. You guys are, you guys are great. Passion for educating the youth and adults too, but really focused on youth. And he's eating, he's decomposing the corn stalks. I don't want my knowledge and my excitement for soils. 5% is organic matter to end with me. It has to be passed on. Things grew and things died. Soils is such a new field as far as the soil microbiology. It's exciting. What do you see? This one's a lot different color, isn't it? I thought most like the infiltration, water and all like the animals that fungi, thanks to the plant, can help all the soil was pretty interesting. I didn't know that before. So I thought that was pretty cool about all that stuff that she taught me. So today you're going to be soil scientists. So when we started this effort here, pretty amazing. I just knew Mary Lou had to be on the team. And so we asked her to join us and she has just stepped up and been such a valuable member of this team. Sometimes kids don't know what's out there. They don't know what's available. They don't know um, what some of their choices could be. And just to show them uh, on the four stations we have here, what some information is out there. What, what kind of careers, what kind of uh, jobs you could have. If they want to go into one of them, woohoo, my job here is done. Mary Lou we helps us get up, that message across to kids. Where would you want your garden? In this bucket or in this bucket? And so those kids leave with some things they can do to take care of the soil, the water, the air, plants, and animals at their part of this earth, which is a, so important to all of us. They learn by hands-on, so I'm offering that. I wish I had had an opportunity to look at that when I was their age. So I'm giving them something I had wished I would have had. I always view this as not my farm, it's someone else's farm in the future.